Let's face it, interest rates stink, but here's where we may be able to find hope. Welcome to the industry leader update. The Federal Reserve is frantically pulling at one of their last levers to curb runaway inflation. That is a series of increases of the central bank's benchmark lending rate. Now, for many, this comes as no surprise. In fact, on this show, I predicted that the Fed would have to enact more drastic interest rate hikes and more often than they announced. And that's exactly what happened just last Wednesday when the Federal Reserve's Board of Governors voted to increase their benchmark lending rate by 75 basis points or three quarters of 1%. That's the largest single increase since 1994. And the Fed has signaled another three-quarter point rate, rate hike being likely in July. Now, consequently, the index that's keyed to the federally insured reverse mortgage has been climbing. The index is more than double than what it was on March 1st of this year. As of last Thursday, the 10-year constant maturity treasury rate was hovering just below 3.5%. And now, as an originator, this can be both frustrating and disheartening. Borrowers who once qualified a short time ago may no longer have the funds required to close due to that spike in their expected interest rate. And the pricing on your HECM loans has to been deteriorating from market sources and conditions that are outside of your control. But before you throw in that proverbial towel, consider the following. The last time the Heckam's average expected rate was nearing 6%, that is the base 10-year constant maturity treasury rate plus the lender's margin, that was back in 2005 and 6. That's when housing prices were really beginning to take off in the years that led up to the housing bubble and economic crash. In 2005, the national median home price was 241,000. In 2022, that number nearly doubled at 428,000. Now, of course, the Heckam's principal limit factor Factor ratios were much more generous at that time, and the outstanding mortgage balance owed for most was nearly the typical percentage of the loans balance that we see today. However, unlike 2005, older homeowners are facing historic inflation, so much so that some fear we're going to see hyperinflation or runaway inflation where consumers pay raises or retirement adjustments are not enough to keep up with their increased cost of living. In such circumstances, older homeowners could quite frankly care less what their expected interest rate is on a federally insured reverse mortgage. They just want to know if they qualify. And yes, certainly many who would have qualified just a few short months ago may no longer be eligible because of rising rates. But there is a silver lining. Outside of those on the cusp of qualifying for a reverse and those who maybe waited too long, there are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of seniors who have ample equity and a genuine need, a need which is no longer easily swept aside, a need that is for increased cash flow. Now, while we sought to move away from the needs-based borrower, there was a cohort of potential borrowers that was silently growing those that have moderate to low mortgage balances and who never gave a reverse mortgage serious consideration before. After all, why would they? Even five years ago, inflation was just a meager 1.7% and the national average for a gallon of gas was 242, but how quickly things change. Even the so-called mass affluent retiree with between 100,000 and a million dollars in liquid assets, they could find themselves needing to tap other assets to offset the ravages of inflation. Now, certainly the immediate effects of surging interest rates are downright ugly for pricing, eligibility, and your income. But don't forget that the reverse mortgage that so many once rejected or even repudiated is going to become much, much more appealing. And you are the one who knows how their largest asset, the one that they're living under, may in fact be their saving grace. Now, what are your thoughts? You can leave those in the comment section about pricing and the market change. Where do you see our potential? Also, share this video with others using the social media links on this page, or you can copy the link to this particular post to your Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter profiles. And also, we have a YouTube channel. You can subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, you never miss an upcoming episode. Each and every week, you can get the latest reverse mortgage news and commentary. No cost or subscription required. That is Heckam World weekly. If you're an Apple user, you can listen and subscribe in iTunes. Otherwise, go to heckamworld.com and just listen to the reverse mortgage news on your way to work or at the gym. 
That's it for us. Have a great week and happy originating.